If you need coaching on how to make yourself stronger, how to make more money, how to lose weight, how to get ahead, then just message me. So you found out about your woman's affair. And now you're separated, struggling, and wonder what to do. I am sorry to hear about your situation, my brother. Totally sorry about that. Taking a woman back is hard, especially if it's a wife or a long-term girlfriend. Can it be done? Yeah, it can be done. But no for most. The betrayal is way beyond what you ever thought. So you have to stand your ground and save the man. I always like to say save the man, not the marriage. I can assure you that you will get through this. I've been doing this professionally for 40 years, and I experienced two heartbreaks that were beyond anything that I ever thought in my lifetime. And I landed on my feet. I do have some techniques and some mindset teaching for you if you've gone through that. Do not let your disappointment stifle your life. That's why I say save the man, not the marriage. It's time to get you back, my brother. Could you be friends with your social media connections in real life? That's a great question, right? Can you picture them sitting in your kitchen having coffee with you or meeting them out for coffee or a drink and having a nice conversation? When it comes to the manosphere, I would say, yes, about 80% of the guys that you probably watch on YouTube are decent guys. But what about the 20%? Fake, creepy, spurgy, weirdos, liars that I wouldn't even let near my family. Many of you, I've messaged you and I said, give me your number. Or sometimes when you write me and have a question or something like that, I'll say, give me your number and I'll give you a call. That surprises a lot of people. And I do that about two or three times a week. I love this line by Emo Phillips. When I was a kid, I used to pray every night for a new bicycle. Then I realized that the Lord, in his wisdom, didn't work that way. So I just stole one, and then I asked him to forgive me. Did you ever notice that all the, the love of money is evil? All of that stuff is directed towards men. No one ever has the balls to tell a woman that the love of money is bad. I like to say make money a priority in your life, but don't fall in love with it. Everyone loves to lecture a man about the love of money, but they just want to dance around the topic when it comes to women. I came up with a term that I call breast goggles. You know, like there's beer goggles. You're sitting in a bar and you've been drinking beer all night. I don't do that. But you're sitting in a bar drinking beer all night and 1 o'clock comes rolling around, 1 a.m. And because you've been drinking so much, all the women look good. Breast goggles are the same way. Breast goggles, when all you see is a woman's breasts, you know, like, excuse me, excuse me, sir, my eyes are up here. When all you see is a woman's breasts, that keeps you from recognizing narcissism and psychopathy. But by then, it's already too late. She already wasted your time. It can be months, it can be years, all because of the beauty trap and the breast goggles. How many here are suckers for a nice rack? <laughs> suckers. How many here prefer a nice rack? There's something about it. Gentlemen, the chink in your armor, your weakness, your Achilles heel, is this. Sharing your feelings with her. If you have feelings of doubt, feelings of fear, you need to talk to a coach. Do not talk to your woman. She's not a garbage can.